Hi, and welcome to Community Church at Ocean Pines. My name is the Reverend Dale Brown, and I have the immense privilege, it's a great privilege of being the pastor here. This church is filled with really sharp and, and, and active and wonderful laypersons. And these laypersons have been about creating a prayer ministry here at Ocean Pines Community Church. One of the most wonderful, outstanding women here is named Molly. And she's standing here beside me, and Molly is a part of that prayer ministry. So I ask you to give Molly your attention, to listen to her, and I'm going to step off the, out of the camera because she is going to do a fabulous devotion this morning. Welcome in the name of Christ. We always like to be around Pastor Dale because he says such nice things about us. When I was a little girl, I thought when you grew up, you would have your act together. You'd know all about life. Uh, you wouldn't be doubtful about doing anything. You'd know exactly what to do in every situation. Uh, and you, you would just know, know all about it and have your act together, and it would be wonderful. Well, now I am 78 years old, and I have discovered, and I bet you can guess what I'm going to say, I don't have my act together. I'm quite often full of doubts. I still feel like that little girl inside. And then I look in the mirror and I realize, oh boy, I'm not a little girl anymore. Uh, so I don't have my act together, but through life, my life, I have learned some good concepts. And, and I have sort of a basic list of things um, that I do just to get along in life. Um, and I'd like to share them with you. Uh, there, there probably are some things you always do too, and it might give you some ideas. One of the first things I know is that you never stop learning. Thank goodness we never stop learning. Um, I'm, I'm still full of questions and I'm still, what's the word I want to use, I'm not sure. But at any rate, I'm, I'm glad that we still learn through our whole lives and, and perhaps even after our lives. Of course, most of these concepts I've gotten from being in a church. Thank goodness I have a church home. Uh, the times in my life when I haven't been a church member have been much more difficult. So at any rate, I would, I would like to share these things. One motto that I, I go with uh, is quite famous. The Moravians use it as their motto, but it's also a quotation I think the Methodists have used. Uh, the credit's given to St. Augustine, but they really don't know who said this first. In essentials, unity. In non-essentials, liberty. And in all things, love. So I'm going to give you a list of some things that are essential to me. And the first one is that God is love. I and that his perfect love casts out fear. Wherever there's love, there is God. Uh, that, 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 what's the word I'm trying to say? That covers my whole life, actually. Uh, uh, as I said, most of these have come from the Bible. Uh, the next one is that we are blessed so that we may become blessings. Um, and that's very important to me. If I am blessed, I need to share that blessing. I also think that if we follow the golden rule, do unto others as you would have them do unto you, we can't go too far wrong, even if we forget everything else. And along with that is, judge not that you be not judged. Thank goodness that we humans don't have to judge. Uh, and another thing that I really believe is that God can bring good out of evil. In this time with the pandemic and all of the ills of the world, uh, we, we know the world is full of evil. But if you stop and think about it, even the pan, with the pandemic, God can st still bring good things. People have had to stop and may reevaluate re their lives They've had more family time together. Uh, there are just a lot of hidden things that we don't think about that truly are blessings. 
even with the pandemic. Pandemic. That's a hard word to say sometimes. Uh, one proverb that I believe in and try to follow is trust in the Lord with all your, thine heart and lean not unto thine... Hmm. I'm not nervous, am I? Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. That's Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6. Shall we pray? Dear Lord, I thank you for this church and the many blessings that it gives. I pray that we may become blessings to others. We praise you. We are thankful and that Jesus has given his life for us. May we truly do as you would have us do. In Jesus' name, amen.